What's going on, everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris doing a little live stream. And I don't have any viewers. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait for a couple of people to get in here. Um, basically, what I'm going to be doing today is a little bit of online shopping. Um, I do some unboxings on my channel. And I figured it would be kind of cool to um, have some input from folks when deciding um, a new box or something like that to, to get. So looks like we have seven viewers. Um, I'm going to try to follow along on my phone so I can keep track of the comments. If you guys have comments, questions, or anything like that, feel free to type them into the comment section. And I will do my best to follow along and answer those. So um, I'm going to try to find the live stream right now. How's everybody doing today? How are you guys doing? What's up, Firex? What's up, Ripline Fishing? And hi, Kaylin. Everything's going good. All right, B. Castetter, you need a new sub box too. So maybe we can find something together. Um, I'm not going to be able to like guarantee anything because you know it'll be my first time trying them out too. So <clears throat> things are going good, Marty. Um, I hope everybody is having a wonderful 2018. Um, so far, so good for me. I went fishing yesterday, made a, a new friend. Um, his name, he has a channel. Um, it's called Budo's Fishing, and he does a lot of like surf fishing, bank fishing um, out in San Francisco Bay, catches like rays and striper and stuff like that. It was really good hanging out with him. We got skunked which happens sometimes. That's why it's called fishing and not catching. Uh, but we had a good time. It was good meeting that dude. And then I went out today for like two hours and soaked some bait. I'm trying to catch a catfish or a carp. Um, and I, I really don't know how to do it. <laughs> so um, something new to learn. What's up, DW Strange? Happy New Year. Um, that's cool, Kaylin. Um, how cold was it before it warmed up? It was pretty warm today. It was about, I think it was about 55 degrees. So, um, you know, that's pretty good for California this time of year, Northern California. Ripline fishing. Have you ever caught one of those, um, those Goliath groupers? Like those things are freaking huge. I've seen videos of those. And I mean, those things are just, ginormous what's up traveling fisherman how you doing man how's texas is it better than alaska worse than alaska what what's up with that you know b castetter i was using chicken livers and i had a there was a pretty good tidal change going on so there's quite a bit of current um so i had a three ounce weight um, and like, a 18 inch leader with, uh, I can't remember what size, but, a, a circle hook with that chicken liver on it. And I just sat and watched that for, you know, two hours and not even a bite. So I, I, it was probably the wrong spot is what I'm guessing. Um, I had been told that there were catfish in that spot before, um, that it was a decent catfish spot, but whatever, you know what I mean? One of these days this year in 2018, um, I mentioned some of my goals before catch 20 different species. I'm going to need, I think a carp and a catfish to get there. And I really want to try to catch a sturgeon from the kayak. I think that would be awesome. Um, take me on a little sleigh ride, you know? High of minus two. That's insane. Gosh, that's, that's horrible. Alaska's way better. Okay. So the traveling fisherman, he's got a YouTube channel you guys should check out. And he um if correct me if I'm wrong, man. Um, but he has a, a kind of a, a cool situation where he gets to travel around the country. Um, and he was in Alaska prior to Texas and was fishing for salmon and trout and all sorts of awesome stuff. So 
Um, now he's in Texas. Slugs work well for cats. Okay, I might have to try that out. What's up? I, I don't I never know if I'm gonna say it right, but I think it's Chaucer Faux or Chaucer. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, how you doing, man? A special recipe for chicken liver. So this started as a I want to buy a new sub box um, type live stream, and now I'm getting tips on how to catch a catfish. This is awesome. This is perfect. Thank you, Organ Grown Adventures. Um, the headphones, you know, I've been, I've been, I've had these for a while actually, and I'm getting into podcasting, and um, they're kind of a must because you don't want to have. Um, audio coming out of uh, like a speaker hitting your mic because it just it doesn't sound as crisp and clean as it should. So um, I hope my audio sounds good. I'm using um, this is my microphone. Let me. Woo. This is a, a blue, um, the Yeti, I believe. And um, these are good, like entry level uh, mics. If anybody out there is interested in doing audio recording um they do a really good job uh quality audio for like voiceovers this is usually what i use if i do a voiceover on one of my videos um and that's what i use for the podcast so somebody finally got their lure 13.5 stoked to take it out oh yeah and you can you can um, put the pedal drive into that. That's really cool, Ripline. Ripline, where are you at? FireX, it was a nice 36 degrees today. Uh, FireX, you're in Montana, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the family's good. The kids and I had a really good... Um, the kids and I had a really good New Year's. They were with me on New Year's. Um, my son didn't make it to midnight. My daughter did. Uh, we played a lot of Monopoly and drank apple cider and just did like family stuff. So um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, dude. Uh, Oregon Grown Adventures, I miss your stuff. He just wrote, nice. I want to get back into posting. So good to know tech specs. Um, you know, I, I always kind of enjoyed your, your take on things. So... Um, it'll be cool if, you know, if you get to that point where you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to post another video. So um, when you do, let me know. Uh, you got a viewer right here. Have I ever tried Gunner Crate? Um, no, never heard of it. Um, what's up, Nick? Um, there's a couple questions in here about um, fishing boxes. I have tried Mystery Tackle Box. And... I think that those services, like they have their place, but for me, like, I guess I'm just at a point in angling where I kind of know what I want. And I guess sometimes it's nice to get surprised, but you know, honestly of the like four or five months that I got mystery tackle box, I used some of that stuff, but most of it just sits, you know, um, a lot of it I use in giveaways on the channel and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. South Houston, Texas, Surfside, in the Galveston area. Okay, so you're out there um, hunting for the redfish, right, Ripline? Is that is that what you do? Okay, Organ Grown said, have I seen the EDC box? I actually did an unboxing of uh, one called EDC box. It was 25 bucks. Um, one of, uh, the subscribers to the channel, um, MJ three, three, he, um, or I guess he's MJ Glock on YouTube. He actually bought that for me, sent it to me. I unboxed it. Um, it's kind of like a little Christmas gift or something, I guess, but, um, thank you to you, MJ. And, um, I, I did a video on that one. I actually thought it was pretty good for 25 bucks. Um, so, you know, I, I think it was fair. I kind of am thinking about, you know, doing like a mini series on them. I don't want to do a full year, I don't think, but maybe like three or four boxes from them. 
What's up, Fishing Fever TV? Thanks for joining in today. Yeah, okay, so it wasn't Klamath Falls, but it was up by Chamolt area. Um, it was a lake called Diamond Lake. Um, Oregon Grown Adventures said, I watched your video where you talked about the bugs in Klamath Valley driving truck. You can't see the windshield after driving through there, which is true. I mean, when I drive up to Klamath Falls to fish with my buddy Dean, it's like I have to wash my truck every time I go up there because the windshield is just so nasty. But part of that's the Sacramento Valley, like going through all the rice fields and stuff. It's, there's just a ton of bugs. Um, this lake, I talked about it in my Battle Bucks unboxing where we got that head net. There were like when you got on the lake in the kayak, you could see this film on the lake. And I was like, I wonder what that is. And as I kind of got closer, I realized it was a mixture of like emerging and dead bugs. And there were millions of them. And it, it made life really nasty for the, the time that we were on the water. In fact, we stopped fishing and the group of guys I was fishing with were pretty hardcore. When we go fishing, we go fishing and we're there um, sun up to sundown. And the fact that we quit a little bit early because of the bugs is pretty big deal. Like there were millions of freaking bugs and it was just horrible. Ugh. Am I giving up any current boxes that I'm not happy with anymore? Um, no. Um, the two boxes that are a regular feature on my channel right now are Hunter's Hall and battle box neither one of those i pay for um i think hunter's hall has been doing a really really good job and if you guys haven't seen any of their stuff um you should check it out and even if you don't hunt like if you camp a lot like they've just kicked out some really cool stuff in my opinion that doesn't only apply to hunting um and, and that's something that i always look for and even with the battle box like this last mission I don't know if you guys picked up on it in the video, if you saw the video yet. One thing I try to do is I try to think to myself like, okay, how can I incorporate this into my daily life? So a lot of times I'll say, oh, I can use that when I'm fishing, you know, that type of thing. Um, and there were some stuff in the basic and the advanced for battle box that I thought, hey, yeah, I could totally incorporate that. The other stuff I just, you know, the other two items I, I, I wasn't really pleased with. <clears throat> so anyways, we'll switch gears a little bit. I have not heard about traveling fishermen. I have not heard about the new lucky taco box, the tournament series, you know, something I'll look into. Um, yeah. Alpha outpost, right. Oregon grown adventures. You, you remember the good old days of alpha outpost. Oh my gosh. Firex. I, I don't know. I haven't heard from anybody at shooters. Lou. I thought they were folded, but, I was doing a little bit of research for this uh, this little um, live stream, and I got on Crate Joy, and I actually saw them on there. So, um, yeah. What's up, two zero six? I am not unsubbing BattleBox. No, I, I, you know, he, let me just speak right from the heart about BattleBox. I have been a subscriber since Mission Nine. I think. I might be the longest consecutive running um, reviewer or unboxer of BattleBox on YouTube. Besides Current, I, you know, I think once Current started working for them, you can't really count them anymore. So, in a, in a way, to me, like this is kind of like a documentation of a company, right? I wish I was I had started at number one, um, but I didn't. So. <sighs> I don't know. Um, I think even if they said, look, dude, we're not going to send you the box for free because they send me the box for free. Um, if they said that, I'd probably still just sign up again and just be like, okay, well, here's my money. You know what I mean? And not so much for the gear, but for the almost for the video. I don't know if that makes any sense. And for being part of the community, um, I hope that makes sense, guys. You know, Ripline Fishing, Ripline Fishing said, if you ever want to go fishing over here, let me know. Offshore to inshore, I gotcha. 
Um, I'm trying to plan a trip to the Houston area sometime in 2018 to do a little kayak red fishing. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that, that would be awesome. Okay. KJ Bo said Sofrep Crate Club. Um, you know, I don't know if anything has changed with them. Right when they first launched, um, I looked at some of their offerings and they they were fairly expensive. And I looked at what you got and I thought, wow, these guys, you know, feel like their box, you know, just the name um makes the items inside more valuable. Okay. So I don't know if anything's changed. I thought they were way overvalued. They charged way too much. And there were people that kind of called them out on it. And there were some negative responses. And this was like a year ago. So I haven't really paid too much attention. So I, I don't know if that's something I really want to get into. Um, it's the style of box that I'd like to get into, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I'm not, not too sure. So then Michael, yeah. So KJ says he asked about the software crate, crate, crate club. Michael Golden says they sucked. So I don't know. Um, okay. So Chaucer, you say you don't want any spoilers. Will you like it? Uh, I, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Where do you live again? Let, let me just ask that first. And I don't have anything like insider information on anything coming out for the battle box three year anniversary. I just don't know. Um, Caitlin, I have heard of tack pack. Uh, I know several people that unbox that, um, you know, it, it was kind of like shooters loot. It, it, from what I've heard and seen, it seems like they either kill it on a monthly basis or they drop the ball. So I guess every box is like that, right? I, I don't know. Um, okay, you're in New Mexico. You might like it. You might. The dirty brown square with steps. Okay. You might like... Um, the box you might find some use for some of the stuff that I didn't find the any use for. So Diet Dr. Pepper. These guys need to sponsor me. I mean, somebody needs to write them a letter. I don't have time for that. <laughs> okay. So you guys didn't come here just to hear me ramble on all day. Um, let's go through. Let's go through uh, Crate Joy. I'm going to share my screen with you. I just have to make sure all of like everything is kosher. You, you know what I'm saying. Um, let me, I forgot how to share my screen. This is so funny. Okay, I'm showing you my screen. <coughs> So you you like Tech Pack DW Strange, um, but you say only if you're an AR shooter. And I have a AR, um, so I might like it. What's up, Southern Outdoors Fishing? What's up, Thomas? What's up, bud? How you doing? We are uh, just hanging out. They're, these folks are gonna help me spend some of my hard-earned money. Um. So, okay, first off, let's go to novelty and just see what's in novelty on Crate Joy. I think that's kind of funny. Enjoy flowers. No, creation crate. That, what is that? That's kind of cool. That might be good for my kids, like when they're in their teens. That's, that's interesting. Uh, not, not really something for me right now. Br the BJJ box, Brazilian. Jiu-jitsu, that's what it means. So um, simmer down.
What's up, Brandon Chaffins? What's up, Marvin from Great American Survival? We are um, just kind of looking at some stuff online. I don't, I don't know. Uh, Bone box. Okay, this is one that. Check this out. This is one that I actually kind of started geeking out on a little bit um, because I, I am kind of like a, not really a skull collector or anything weird like that, but like when I'm out in the forest and I come across. Um, like bones, like a skull or something. I kind of geek out on it and I'll, I'll sometimes take it home. And I have a couple skulls. I don't think I have any in the house, but I have antlers that I find and, you know, just stuff like that. And this is a $25 a month box. And you get like these little like skulls. Look at that. That's like a snake. And that's something, maybe like a squirrel. I don't know. Uh, but it, I don't know. I think that's kind of interesting. So you get like different bones and teeth and just all this stuff. And I guess it's like um, like almost like professional grade. Oh, okay, KJ, you're get off my land. That's cool. Anyways, um, that's kind of a, an interesting box, the bone box. Um, one of these days, I might just sign up for that to get get it for, you know, quacks and giggles. I said quacks because I am censoring myself. I don't have the ability to edit afterwards. It is kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> just kind of. So, okay, Brandon, what's up? Um, I Now that makes a little bit more sense. Um, that's cool. Okay, uh, the magic subscription box. That's kind of cool. I'm the, like, my inner child is coming out, you know? Back when I was, like, 10 and 11, I wanted to be, like, a magician. I thought that was really cool stuff. Cryptid crate. What is that? Cryptozoology and paranormal themed items. What? Um, so I am, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest and I like to take advantage of one of the Pacific Northwest's like most original pastimes and that's squatching. It's when you go out and the, you go hiking and you're looking for Sasquatch. It's just a fancy name for, for hiking. Um, but anyway, squatching. Yeah, that's, it's something we used to do. That's kind of cool. So it's just a bunch of like probably horrible video, a t-shirt, a bottle opener. What? A Sasquatch bottle opener. DW Strange, I can see the bone box being an FBI trap to catch serial killers. <laughs> That's funny. Kathy, yeah, I think it'd be cool to do it too. You know what? Do you guys want to see uh, one of my skulls that I have? Um, if you do, you're going to have to let me know in the comments. And maybe maybe I'll run out into my garage and snag it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm a squatching guys. So Brandon, you looked through this earlier and half of them didn't pop up. I'm in the novelty section, so maybe that's why. Um, there's all sorts of weird stuff in here. Oh, the skivvy box. Um, all right. The filthy mermaid. What's this range junkie? Show us. Okay. Give me a couple minutes and I'll go snag it. Range junkie. What is this? Um, Okay, you know, there are so many boxes that do like cleaning, gun cleaning stuff. Like, I don't know. It, it's kind of like a played out thing if you ask me for 50 bucks a month. I don't know. That seems like a little much. Um, I think I would pass on that. I mean, when I need stuff, I, I just go get it. Oh, there's a little YouTube video. Um, so that's something 
range junkie maybe maybe that's something um that i might pick up later yeah the the rainforest that was uh some pretty cool stuff i did not sacrifice anybody to get the school um the skull sorry I don't have a squat skull. It's a cow skull that I found. I was hiking off trail up in the Sierra Nevadas and I saw it and I was like, that's pretty cool. Um, I took it home. I kind of cleaned it up. Um, it had been, it was half in the dirt, half, um, you know, visible. Um, it's still pretty dirty. I kind of need to just spend some time with it, bleach it. Stuff like that. Yeah, traveling fishermen, um, the Pacific Northwest. I grew up in the dry side of Washington, so in the the arid desert area. Um, but you know, in a way, that's a, a beautiful spot too. It just depends um how you look at things. So let's go for here. Let's go here. Men, that's what I am. I'm a man. Even if I tried the mermaid suit on master angler master angler i'd still be a man okay let me let me get just a second guys I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to flip my screen around. I'm carrying this in a a towel because there's a fairly good chance that there's a resident black widow hiding in it. Um, what did I do wrong there? Hang on. Stop. Okay, we're back. Let me um let me show you what I got. I'm trying to figure out if there's that black widow there. But check that out. That's pretty cool. And you can kind of see there's like I don't like there's a there's rocks in it still. Like you can see in there like rocks and stuff. I don't know, it's kind of cool. And I'm 99.9% .9 sure it is a cow. Um, the lower jaw is missing, but look at those teeth. Just because uh, they graze cattle up there, and this is way too big to be a deer. There are no elk or moose in that area. Uh, but found that. I need to bleach it and kind of clean it out a little bit more. Try to get the resident black widow out of there. And uh, all that good stuff. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Let me get caught up. Um, let me get caught up on some of the chat. Is there a lock pick box? Um, no, but that would be kind of cool. That would be, um, you know, 15 bucks and get like maybe every other month, get some nice um, lock pick tools. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe there is. Oh, sorry for the burp. Yeah, trigger warning. I'm a man, damn it. You guys keep trying to scroll down and click stuff. That, that's kind of cool. Do you guys like this? Um, you know, doing something a little bit different. Do you guys like it? Is it something you're into? What's up, Shane? How you doing? Yes, 
Yeah, you know, I guess I could dip it. I think I'd rather just bleach it and and just get it nice and white. Um, like the next elk I kill, it's gonna I'm gonna do a European mount, so where you just you know boil off all the skin and you know stick a probe in the brain cavity and clean it all out, you know, and and then uh, it's just white skull with a with the horns. So that's kind of my goal. Try the weed box or hemper box. Um, well, let's look that up. Hang on. Hemper box. I don't um, don't see it. It's not on Crate Joy, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Bud box. Smoker's Digest. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so there's a... There's, uh, for all of your cannabis needs for 15 bucks a month. So the thing is, I don't have very many cannabis needs. Um, it's been quite a while since I partook. Um, and I didn't partake a whole heck of a lot to begin with. Southern Cigar Company, that would be great for Southern Gunner. I don't know. This This showed up in the mail, dude. Rob Vice's membership. I, so I guess sometimes you get the, they have like these quarterly um, services where you can get, oh, I'm not showing my screen, am I? Oh my gosh. I totally failed. Sorry guys, I failed you. <sighs> my bad. Okay. Um, Southern Cigar Company, that would be great for Southern Gummer. That I think he would love something like that. 40 bucks a month. I wonder if he knows about it. There's a bourbon club? Huh. <laughs> um cooler can monthly. Limited edition koozie every month. So you pay seven bucks a month for a koozie. Okay. And this is the, this again, guys, this is the, the men's, uh, section. So we're going to see what these are. Men's culture carton. Lifestyle subscription for men with a book included. I read. Maybe that's something I would like. Yeah, this is like a hipster subscription box, I think. Although Ready Player One, um, George Orwell, interesting. I don't know. Um, not really my thing. I don't think I'm not. Even though I have a lovely beard, I'm not really much of a hipster. The Rad Dad box. I am a Rad Dad though. What does it say? Um, a monthly starter kit to fatherhood for new dads and their children. See, I got this thing down pat though. Um, I don't plan on having any new kids. Hopefully I'm good with the two I got, but I don't know. That's kind of a, that could be a cool thing for a new dad. You know, if you have a buddy that's uh, having a kid could be something kind of cool, or you could buy them like a, a shotgun. That would be cool too. I like socks, but I'm really picky. So I actually got contacted by a sock company once. They're like, hey, would you like to like us to send you some free socks? And and uh, you could talk about them on your YouTube channel. And I was like, well, maybe. What kind of socks you got? Hiking socks, wool socks? They're like, um, no. And they're like, here are our list of socks. And so I looked at them, and they're like, these just polyester socks with different patterns and stuff. <laughs> And I told him, yeah, I don't really see how that fits with my channel. And he, he, the person sent me back something saying, well, here's a, a sock that might fit. And it was like evergreen trees, like spread out on the sock, you know, it's like a cartoon sock. I'm like, what the hell? I'm, I'm a grown man. Come on. So I told him no. Urban Dapper Club. So dapper. I have, uh, I don't wear ties much, but when I do, I wear nice ties. 
Take it easy, traveling fisherman. Um, it was thanks for stopping in. It was good uh, chatting with you. Um, have a have a great day, evening, and we'll chat with you later, man. Okay, Brandon, take it easy. Thanks for stopping in. One of these days, we will find the box for me. So let's go to page two. <sighs> the Nomadic subscription box. Who's gotten this before? Somebody on the BattleBox group had this. Um, I think somebody got these. Um, so it's kind of like a hiking box, headlamp, a carabiner mug, the stargazer bandana. Oh my gosh. That was in a battle box, nav box, a little knife, 32 bucks a month. That's right in my price range, but I have heard bad things about this. Uh, fire X. Oh, organ grown. You get it. Okay. It's great for hiking gear. All right. Um, I've heard some bad things about it. Uh, FireX, was your experience good or bad? And jumping back, Great American Survival says, I had a box called Spreza send me their box, but it was hipster clothes with dress socks, neckties, and cufflinks, etc. cetera. Um, Marvin, did you not like it? Because that could be a good thing if, if you wear a suit um, to work on a daily basis or like if you're a teacher and you have to you know wear a tie something like that could be useful i'm gonna skip the nomadic for now um swinger box they're talking about golf guys come on golf basic man so socks underwear and undershirts 20 bucks I'll pass. Comic mystery box. That's kind of cool. Uh, I wouldn't really fit the theme for my channel. Sock box. All these socks boxes. I don't know. Shane, yeah. Um, Karen uh, and Dustin, um, I've watched my buddy Matt from Yankee Takers Outdoors go through um, some stuff with his care and subscription. He canceled it and they actually sent him a box after he canceled. It was, it was weird. Anyways. Santiago Real. Can you name my cousin Elver Galarga because he wants to be named in a YouTube live, please? Yeah, dude. I just did it, man. So tell him he needs to watch this. Isle box. I heard that they went out of business. I, I don't know for sure. Let's look at this. Redneck's box. Gosh, I can't talk today. Redneck box club. Four to six items of guaranteed enjoyment and laughs every month. So it's kind of a gag thingy. 25 bucks. Um, the perfect box for all rednecks. That would be up my alley, but I think... I think I'll pass. Although, oh, you know, a little fishing hook thingy you put on your hat, a beer can, ammo holder, salt, a fancy salt and pepper shaker. Oh, here's your beer can sheath, leather sheath for your beer can, beer bottle. Sorry. That actually might be a fun subscription. <laughs> oh, look, it's Ben says, oh, bleep. Oh, wait. Let me rephrase that. Look, it's Ben says, oh, qu quack. Are we picking a new box? Yeah, picking a new box. Yeah, I, Dustin, I heard the aisle box went out of business. Um, that's just what I heard. So, okay. No, they're still doing great. Camping box went out of business. All right. I'm going to have to harass my friend Matt because he was the one that was going to do aisle box and he's the one that said they went out of business so we'll see lucha loot if you're into the whole um mexican wrestling scene say it with a sock what the hell beard care club mm. yeah 
Knife Subscription Club. You get the CRKTs, the Bucks, the Shrades, the Sogs. A monthly knife club for the seasoned and beginner collector. Horatio, what's up, buddy? Uh, that redneck box is kind of funny. I might actually get it. I, I don't know. Um, I'll box bought out camping box. I could test out my no cussing resolve. Actually, I I I'm really good at editing. So the quack is uh, you know, it's the year of the duck. 2018 is the year of the duck. So even when I can't control my cursing, um, like if I was to get Alpha Outpost again, I can just quack myself out. Your basic subscription, get brand name knives such as Kershaw, CRKT, Spider Coast Sog, Smith & Wesson. Oh, I love Smith & Wesson knives. I was being really sarcastic right there. I think that most of their knives um, aren't that great. Shrade, Cold Steel, many more. So 25 bucks a month, that's, you know, oh, oh, geez, what the heck? 150 high-end top tier kick quack items an additional higher end knife multi-tools premium survival kits bags and edc gear wow they oh no they double dog dared me what the heck mtech is a brand name you know i kind of wanted to try aisle box out uh in the past but yeah, I didn't. Um, knife box is terrible. So is that the same as this? There's a few knife subscription boxes. So I don't know if that's the same one. Non-stop quacking for real. <laughs> KJ wrote, I'll send you some duct tape, a cheap hat, and a koozie for 25 bucks a month. <laughs> That's a good one, man. Uh, maybe I could get uh, one of you to do a box where I send you 25 bucks and you send me $25 worth of crappy stuff. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Okay, cutie socks. I don't know how that fits into the men's section. Look at all the sock crap. I mean, what the hell? Barrel and Blade. Um, I, I have a confession to make. I actually tried Barrel and Blade. I actually posted a video of it. And then I took it down. Um, and that, my friends, is all we have to say about that. Quack. Wrestle crate. There's a lot of wrestling stuff. Startup stars. I saw this the other day. Look at this. Discover startups before they get big. Exclusive info. The CEO's card and a t-shirt each month. Who the hell wants that? I mean... Sure, it's only like 16 bucks a month, but you get a like a trading card. Oh, you probably get their business card for some sort of like startup uh, CEO of a startup company and you get like their shirt. I mean, come on now. Stuff that people sell. Ruthless Redneck wasn't. Oh, there he is. Turn of the month box. Oh, yeah, Fireman's one of the Obsidian. I've heard that that is good, but it is very, very, very um, hiker-specific. So, Okay, I'm not really seeing anything that floats my boat too much. Okay, here's another one. Bladesman box, 30 bucks a month. Oh, look it. There's a code to get a special discount. And look, you can go all the way up to 109 Bladesman Professional. The Bladesman members of this package will contain a high quality brand knife, sometimes with the occasional tactical gear every month. Hmm. What is that knife? Does anybody know what this is? Uh, kind of an interesting look. Look to it. Just the look. 
There's the SC. Um, that is like a that's a knife that costs like ten dollars, five dollars to make, if you count the paracord wrap. But it has SC on it, so everybody thinks it's like a you know super high end knife. Um, it's just CNC'd. Party in the front, business in back. What's up, Grey Ghost? Okay, what's the code? Uh, it's it's BMC5. So if you're interested in Bladesman Club, uh, I, maybe that code will work for you. It says use code BMC5 at checkout to get a special discount. I have thought about Never Enough Tactical, and I might sign up for them. Formal supply, sock flow, another sock one, the care zone box for medical professionals, monthly watch club, boomtown box. So I looked at this one. Um, I saw the epic wipes. Uh, you know, I like those. There's a life straw, a little beanie, a paracord grenade. This is a $30 subscription. There's a Yeti thingy. And it looks like um, some lip balm. A little fire steel with a, I think that might be a built-in compass that will probably break. But here's an Eno hammock. Um, a tool card of some sort. The flashlight that was in um, your, your battle box from a couple months ago. Everybody puts these out. They just put their name on it or, you know, whatever. But it's basically, looks like the same flashlight. Some sort of little booklet. I don't know. That's going to be some pretty cheap stuff, probably. But it is the ultimate box of adventure. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Have I tried the Quack Hits the Fan Box Club? No, I haven't. Nice variety. Was so happy the t-shirt was true to size. Leaves me wanting more. <laughs> Underwhelming. Wow. Okay. I think we know. Can you guys hear the blower? My neighbor's freaking, it's like almost dark and my neighbor's outside blowing his leaves. Can you guys hear that? What's up, PGH bottom feeders? Here's one, Timber Edge Outdoors, fun and useful outdoor items. They don't give you any like idea of what's in there. It's 35 bucks a month. Has anybody ever heard of this? Anybody? I don't have anything for my kids. Uh, that They've been asking, do you guys remember when I did the Munch Pack unboxing with my kids? Um, they loved that. And they've been wanting to do another one. So I've been thinking I need to, to do that with them. Um, so it says, every month we search for new and fun, yada, yada, yada. Whether you're a hunter, fisherman, or woman, hiker, camper, or just love the outdoors, we have something for everyone. Hunting supplies, hiking supplies, fishing tackle, camping supplies, home and kitchen items. I wish I could hear something blowing. Okay. Bought it and loved it. A lot of hunting supplies in the first box. Loved it. That was from Lisa. Lisa loved all those hunting supplies. Timber Edge Outdoors, 35 bucks a month. Um, eh, let's see. Ships on the 8th. So if I... Orders must be placed by the 25th. Ah, oh, gosh. That's lame. Hmm. It kind of does sound a little cheap, but I don't know. It kind of interests me. Oh, I have to log in or sign up to like... I'll do that later. Okay, so there's Timber Edge, Parabox, uh, Nope. 
Hero T-shirt club. Um, bodybuilding box. Does it look like I build my body? No. Range junkie. We talked about that earlier. Knife pack. Wow, look at those knives. Like that just I'm dying to sign up. Um, not not really. Um, the tie fix. Wow. Once upon a bookcase. I have no idea what that is for. Z chest monthly zombies to your door. It's like the zombie box, but not that box. I don't know, you dudes. I, I'm not really seeing sold out. Somebody really wanted that. No YouTube reviews on it. So FireX, if I'm going to be totally honest. That is actually something that, that might be something I want to sign up for. Was it uh, Southern Outdoors Fishing? Was it uh, Soft Rep, Sof Rep uh, Crate Club? Was that it? I don't think they're on this list. Oh, it's a monthly condom subscription. Look at that. There's a subscription dollar condom. There is a subscription for everything. Come on. What's going on? Battle box sold out. Look at that. Oh, four stars. Oh my gosh. Battle box. What? Oh, they, oh wow. That's so weird. That's weird. They don't have like the tiered options. Huh? Hmm. Um, Southern Outdoors, uh, Soft Rep Crate Club. I'll go to their website in a minute and you can tell me if that was it. You're not cheaping out on Royal. <laughs> Oh, man, that's funny. Okay. T-Sub. I'm not seeing anything. H -M -M HMD Sporting Gear. So handmade Damascus and stainless steel knives. That's kind of cool. Shred box. Uh, that's for BMXers. Oh, my gosh. You know, James, somebody else mentioned that um, the new tournament box for LTB. That's kind of cool. Yeah, <laughs> look, it's been. That was a good one. Raven Pack has videos. Looks interesting. Okay. I will keep that in mind. I don't know. I'm not really seeing a lot that does it for me. I thought Isle Box was in here, but I guess not. Oh, craft beer. What? But 50 bucks a month to send me beer. Gunner Crate. Did somebody mention this earlier? Gunner Crate? <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> oh. That's kind of a cool box. Um, oh, look. Everybody has the Battleborn, um, like, lubes and stuff. Do you get mags? That'd be cool. And so this is going to be maybe like, maybe like Shooter's Loot. Welcome gunners. Don't consider yourself. Okay. So there's multiple, um, levels, a $90 level, recreational shooter level. Didn't like it, huh? You didn't like it, Horatio. Okay. So I'll take that into consideration.
Green Beret Tactical? What the heck? I didn't even see this the other day. There's um, a new one popping up every minute. Is that a challenge coin? We ship the first week of each quarter. $34.99 every three months. First survival kit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. That's blowing me away. And a pre-filled restraining order. Ruthless redneck, that's funny. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I've heard good things about survival boxes. I'm looking for that, like, that gem, you know, that that lost gem out there. I don't fly fishing ballistics box. I've never heard of that one. Modern day range enthusiast. Choose a subscription. 22, 2, 3, 3, 7, 50 cal. Okay. Just like this level is for the individual that not only likes to be prepared, but also proactive. Tactical gear, tactical training and technique guides. Basic necessities, lights, holsters, and knives. That could be cool. What's the 50 cal? Whoa, 200 bucks. Holy. Good quack. Holy moly. I don't know. I think I would get this and then I'd be like disappointed. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Thanks buddy. Thanks Thomas for stopping by. I really appreciate it. What do you guys think of this? What do you guys think? Um, it's 80 bucks a month. Gosh, that's a lot of money for, for a gamble. Product progression program with the, with the quack. Get started on the road to cool tactical gear. You won't be disappointed. We have changed the game by having the three P's. Product progression program, which allows us to help curate premier, more customized gear from the top manufacturers in the tactical industry for your future boxes at a fraction of the price. I, I have no idea what that means. They just made that right there up, made it sound fancy. Uh, I don't know. Cutting edge tactical year from top manufacturers, customizable subscription tiers, annual and six month memberships available. Available. So, uh, the twenty two, the weekend warrior that just likes to be prepared, thirty nine bucks a month. The two two three level is eighty bucks a month. And it's going to have more stuff, emergency medical gear, training guides, as well as basic necessities, lights, holsters, knives, the 762, everything that the 223 just can't handle. This is sounding so hokey kind of, but it's all the sales pitch, right? Advanced tactical training guides, field trauma gear, bug out kits, and advanced outdoor gear and equipment for 150 bucks. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm thinking about it either at the 22 or the 223 level. Okay, guys. So, um, what's the prepper jack? What's up, Wayne? Um, thanks for checking in. I could try the, the smallest level, and that's um, that is $39 a month. What's the prepper jack? What's that? The prepper jack looks interesting. Did I miss something? What are you talking about? What do you know? You know something I don't know. What do you know? The prepper jack. What do you guys know? What's the prepper jack? No look. I better not. Okay. The prepper jack. The prepper box. Wasn't there, there was a box called the 
Prepper Gearbox that got bought by um, Alpha Outpost. Do you just remember that debacle? Holy moly. That was something else. Okay. The Prepper Jack. What is this? They have nine boxes down, so that's that's a good thing. Doc Spartan, Epic Provisions, Wilderness Dreams, never heard of them, Mountain House, Man Hands. Okay. <laughs> Shane. KJ, there wasn't um uh, sorry to back up a little bit. Um, there wasn't a sample box sheet that shows what was in each level. No, not that I could see. Okay, shop. The prepper box. So you can buy individual items. January sixty nine ninety nine. Hey. Eh? Okay. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, not not my thing. Never ending coin club. My buddy John Z would be into that. Turkey of the month. Get orgasmic, um, premium gay sex toys. I'll let you guys argue in the comment section about who that one's for. <laughs> wow, more of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, five in one multi purpose tools. Yeah. <laughs> oh there it is um so i'm not <laughs> we already know you ordered it <laughs> you guys are too much so okay guys here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking i would like to sign up for the 22 dollar level of ballistics box so um let me switch back over and we're going to wrap this up. You guys have been awesome today. Oh my gosh. I forget how to do that every time. So you guys have been awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm thinking that the ballistics box is, is something I'm going to sign up for. Um, I'm also kind of thinking I want to get back on with that, um, that EDC box. I did one level that uh, NJ Glock sent and I liked it. Um, you know, I might try that again. And I'm going to go look at aisle gear. Look, it's Ben. You guys, you're so funny. Um, I might, I'm probably going to look at aisle gear. So PayPal me and I'll go pick up some sweet gear at Dollar Tree at Harbor Freight and send it to you. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> oh. Aren't you banned from Dollar Tree? You guys, whenever the Battlebox forum um, people, whenever you guys come into chats and live streams, it's amazing. Like, because you guys already know each other um, from the forums, like in, in that interaction. And it doesn't stop when you hit the chat in a live stream. And it's just crazy. It's hilarious. I really wish that, um, YouTube would come out with a method of being able to see what the live chat was so that some of my banter back and forth with the comment section, which you can see that right there, all of those guys, um, that's, it's such a cool part and aspect of it. And I really appreciate it when you guys jump in. So to, to recap, probably going to re-sign up or sign up for the EDC box gonna look into aisle um i'm kind of looking for something that's not what uh battle box is or is trying to do like i'm 
I mean, I could get something that's like a survival gear box or something like that, but I kind of like the idea of aisle box. Um, I like the idea of this, this, uh, the shooting box. I like the idea of that EDC box. It was 25 bucks and you know, um, not a whole bunch out of my pocket. So if there's one or two things in there, I like that's cool. And if not, I could just get the whole box away and maybe somebody will, um, find something. Uh, so anyways, I need a discord. Oh my gosh. I don't think anything would ever get completed. If I had a discord, I actually have discord. Um, I don't think I want to open it though, but look, I'll prove it to you that I have discord. And share. See right there. That's my Discord button. And it's not clicked. I haven't been into Discord for a long time. Well, uh, Ruthless Redneck, if you want to see me unbox another Alpha Outpost, <sighs> Mac. It's fine. Okay, if you want to see me unbox another Alpha Outpost, I'm never going to pay for that personally. Uh, but there's this little button down in the corner of the chat. And you guys are more than willing to team up and donate to, to the channel. And I will do an Alpha Outpost unboxing. Um, like I said, though, I don't want to pay for it personally, like out of my money. There's so many other good things out there that, or other things that, you know, 10,000 people aren't doing whatever you can donate your stripper money and he will get it. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh man. You guys are great. Um, it's been over an hour and I really have to urinate. Um, so I appreciate you guys jumping in today. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all of the feedback um, on the most recent uh, BattleBox unboxing vid um, and all of the feedback on my recent videos. I really appreciate it. And you guys are, are cool. So with that in mind, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting out west with Chris.